welcome to my youtube channel fast trending news viewers in today's video i will tell you about the history of sweden and if you want to get the trending news of today don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel fast trending news and press bell icon to get the notification of my videos the history of sweden can be traced back to the melting of the northern polar ice caps from as early as 12000 bc humans have inhabited this area throughout the stone age between 8000 bc and 6000 bc early inhabitants used stone crafting methods to make tools and weapons for hunting gathering and fishing as means of survival written sources about sweden before ad 1000 are read and short usually written by outsiders it was not until the 14th century that longer historical texts were produced in sweden it is therefore usually accepted that swedish recorded history in contrast with prehistory starts around the 11th century when sources are common enough that they can be contrasted with each other the modern swedish state was formed over a long period of unification and con solidation historians have set different standards for when it can be considered complete resulting in dates from the 6 to 60 centuries some common laws were present from the second half of the 30th century at this time sweden conceded of most of what is today today the southern part of the country as well as parts of modern finland over the following centuries swedish influence would expand into the north and east even if borders were often ill defined or non existent in the late 14th century Sweden was becoming increasingly intertwined with Denmark and Norway with the three eventually uniting in the Kalmar Union during the following century a series of rebellions lessened Sweden's ties to the union sometime even leading to the election of a separate Swedish king The fighting reached a climax following the Stockholm bloodbath in 1520. A mass execution of accused heretics or accused stated by Christian II of Denmark, one of the few members of the most powerful noble families not present. Gustav Vasa was able to raise a new rebellion and eventually was crowned king in 1523. His reign proved lasting and marked the end of Sweden's participation in the Kalmar Union. Gustav Vasa furthermore encouraged Protestant preachers finally breaking with the papacy and establishing the lutheran church in sweden seizing catholic church property and wealth during the 17th century after winning wars against denmark norway russia and the polish lithuanian commonwealth sweden emerged as a great power by taking direct control of the baltic region sweden's rule in the 30 years war determined the political and re religions balance of power in europe the swedish state expanded 
and nor mostly into the modern Estonia and Latvia, northern Germany, and several regions that to this day are part of Sweden. Before the end of the 17th century, a secret alliance was formed between Denmark, Norway, Polish, Lithuanian Commonwealth, and Russia against Sweden. This coalition act at the start of the 18th century when Denmark, Norway, and the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth launched surprise attacks on Sweden. In 1721, Russia and its allies won the war against Sweden. As a result, Russia was able to annex the Swedish territories of Estonia, Livonia, Angeria, and Karelia. This effectively put an end to the Swedish Empire and crippled her Baltic Sea power. Sweden joined in the Enlightenment culture of the day in the arts, architecture, science, and learning between 1570 and 1800. Sweden expa experienced two periods of urban expansion. Finland was lost to Russia in a war in 1808-1809. In the early 19th century, Finland and the remaining territories outside the Scandinavian peninsula were lost. Sweden's last war was the Swedish Norwegian was 1840. Sweden was victorious in this war, leading to the Danish king being forced to cede Norway to Sweden. Norway was then forced to enter into a personal union with Sweden, Sweden that lasted until 1905 since 1840 Sweden has been at peace. Adopting a non-allied foreign policy in peacetime and neutrality in war, war time. During World War I, Sweden remained neutral but let the Germans travel in the country. Post-war prosperity provided the foundations for the social welfare policies characteristic of modern Sweden. During World War II, Sweden once again remained neutral, avoiding the effect of occupied Norway. The country attempted to stay out of alliances and remain officially neutral during the entire Cold War and declined to join NATO. The Social Democratic Party held government from 44 years. 1932-1976, the 1976 parliamentary election brought a liberal right-wing co coalition to power. During the Cold War, Sweden was suspension of the superpowers, but this sentiment lessened as the situation progressed and Sweden continued to remain neutral.